good housekeeping seal. I'm not sure exactly what all that means, but it might mean something to somebody. This is a Wim Hurst machine, just got it from China. And I set the spark gap low. This down here actually connects it together. I hate touching that Leyden jar because I know what it does to you whenever it's got shock in it. But they're connected together by a little wire on the bottom. So when you connect that together, and I just moved it a little bit. That's not good, but it's not a bad thing. This thing here, when they're connected together, they, it affects the power. When they're connected together, you get these big sparks. When they are not connected together at the bottom, so the laden jars are separate, We end up with slower, smaller sparks. It's got a brush here that actually touches, it actually rides on the metal. There's a brush there that actually rides on the metal. The two pickups never touch anything. You got a pickup on that side too. And then you got brushes that touch the metal and brushes that touch the metal there. Now, I got to discharge them again. Always discharge them, I found out the hard way. Now when I connect them together on the bottom again, it's bigger sparks. Ouch. Now the biggest spark I've got on there is about a one inch spark. Um, the funny thing is I've taken the Sladen jar apart and all it is is one piece of metal. The whole jar is one piece of metal. It's got a spring that runs from the top all the way to the bottom connecting it. So literally that Leyden jar is not like what you'd consider a Leyden jar. It's just a solid piece of metal that's got a wire connecting from the top to the bottom from the pickup. <clears throat> so I don't understand that because basically when the two jars are connected together that means I've got a horse horseshoe shaped piece of metal and a horseshoe shaped piece of metal shouldn't have any conductivity or it should be able to run one way or the other so I really don't understand how that works but uh, thanks for watching I do appreciate it and uh, I'm enjoying my new toy